In this video, I'll take you through a complete upgrade from Windows 7 Professional to Windows 10 Professional using the automatic download notification and download from Microsoft. So if you have your system fully patched and Windows updates completed, you'll see this icon in the bottom right corner, which indicates the Windows 10 notification. And if you click on it, it will initially tell you to reserve your copy and you can sign up for that and then it will eventually start downloading Windows 10 automatically. Now in this window you can also click here and click check your PC and it will tell you if there's any incompatibilities with Windows 10. If you do not have this icon you need to go to control panel and Windows updates and make sure your Windows updates are completed. Now, if you have updates that are pending, you need to run the update. Uh, a lot of times it will ask you to reboot your computer. And when it's finished and says Windows updates are installed, close it and then go back into it again. And do it over and over again until you can go back into it and it says there are no Windows updates. Because even though you install them, a lot of times they will trigger further updates that need to be installed after the updates you're installing at that time. And once they are installed and completely updated and patched, you will get this Windows 10 notification. There is a, a series of emails that are floating around that state that your Windows 10 no, uh, upgrade is ready and there is a file attached to it. That is a virus, so do not open it. It is the CryptoLocker virus, so it will encrypt all your data on your computer as uh, ransomware and they ask you to pay a ransom to get your data back. So be careful that you only download Windows 10 either through this or directly from the Microsoft website. Downloading Windows 10 will take some time. It is almost 3 gigabytes of data. So depending on how fast your internet connection is, this may take from uh, maybe an hour or two up to several hours to download. So it might be something you want to do and then just go to bed and let it run overnight and uh, be ready for you the next day. Once your upgrade is finished downloading, it will say the upgrade is available and it will give you a button that says, OK, let's continue. And you click that button. Windows 10 will automatically check your system for you again, just like we did in the previous steps. Windows 10 then will go into the installing updates mode, just like Windows Updates does. And now we must accept the Microsoft License Agreement. And you now have the choice to schedule your upgrade now or do it uh, later. So we will now start the upgrade and your system will reboot and continue with the Windows 10 upgrade. During the video, I'll be skipping a lot of the parts where we just wait for it to install just to shorten the length of the video. But this process does take some time and you have to wait. And once that part is finished, it will reboot your system and it will begin the rest of the setup process. Again, this stage of the upgrade will take quite some time, so sit back and relax. And once again, I'll be skipping over much of this part so you don't have to endure the uh, waiting with me. Once the initial upgrade steps are complete, you'll then be greeted by the Windows 10 configuration screen. We'll click the next button. And here you have a choice. And this is where a lot of people are choosing express settings and then finding out their um, are a lot of concern out there about privacy issues and I think most of that is fear-mongering from my opinion because Microsoft isn't going to collect data that's going to get itself in trouble. There would be huge enormous fines, I mean probably into the billions of dollars if they were collecting information that was uh, private to the individual or something. But uh, if you're concerned about it, you can click that customize settings and you can turn off these individual settings and you can also turn these off once your installation is completed as well. So I'm just going to leave them on for the simplicity of the upgrade but like I said you probably do want to go through those settings one by one and make sure you're comfortable with those before you continue. And now my Windows 10 upgrade is complete. And now we'll go through the process of configuring Windows 10.
And now my upgrade to Windows 10 is complete. And I do have a quick tour of Windows 10 on my uh, channel in another video. I'll put the link in the video uh, just down below in this area. And so I hope that is helpful to some of you. And I thank you for watching. If my video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, be sure to click the little gear and check this box so that you'll receive an email notification when I upload a new video. You can also help support my channel by making a small donation on patreon.com slash Troy Young.